know, folks? I tell you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. You're too kind. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's no secret. I love gossip, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Grease me. Oh. I got to know who's pregnant, who's dating, who is Taylor Swift feuding with now. It's Jimmy Carter. Shouldn't have thrown shade at a new album, Jimmy. Now you're out of the girl squad. Sucks to be you. But some of the juiciest gossip right now is coming from a huge leak of documents detailing offshore financial dealings of some of the world's biggest corporations and wealthiest people, known as the Paradise Papers. Take me down to the Paradise Papers where you pay no tax on financial keepers. Woo! Won't you take me down? That's it. I had a little trouble getting it. I had a little trouble getting it. The papers focus on the dealings of the Bermudan law firm Appleby, which helped its clients reduce their tax burden and set up huge offshore trusts that, in some cases, hold billions of dollars. It's like their slogan says, Applebee's cheating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> And the papers, these papers are just delicious. They are full of primo dish on big time celebrities like Bono, who used a company based in low tax Malta to buy part of a shopping mall in Lithuania. Oh, yeah, because nothing's more rock and roll than having a 3% interest in the profits of an Eastern European jamba juice. <laughs> although, although. Although, Bono's investment in that mall does explain some of its stores, like the linen shop where the sheets have no name, <laughs> or the ice cream parlor, Sunday's Nutty Sundays. <laughs> now, the Paradise Papers are just the latest giant leak of sensitive documents. Last year, we heard about the Panama Papers. But the mother of all leaks, the Erdump, if you will, was something called the Pentagon Papers. In 1971, a man named Daniel Ellsberg leaked a classified Defense Department report revealing that the previous three administrations had secretly expanded the war in Vietnam, then knowingly lied to the American people, which today is astonishing. Just imagine having a president that knows he's lying. <laughs> there was a huge... To get these papers out... There they are. There was a huge competition between the New York Times and the Washington Post over who would get the truth out while facing enormous resistance from the administration. Does that sound familiar to you? <laughs> the key players at the Post were publisher Catherine Graham, first woman to publish a major newspaper, and editor-in-chief Ben Bradley. And now, the story of the Pentagon Papers has been made into a new movie called The Post, starring Meryl Streep, and Tom Hanks, and directed by Steven Spielberg. It is the first time these three have all worked together. I smell Oscar buzz. <laughs> now, The Post is coming out December 22nd in a limited release, and then nationwide, January 12th. Why do I tell you this? I tell you this, because right now, I am proud to say, The Late Show has the world-exclusive debut of the trailer for The Post. No one has seen this thing other than the people who made it, one would hope or else it could be a mess. And I just want to remind you, this is real. This is a big deal. This is like having a Marvel trailer if Meryl Streep was playing Thor. <laughs> and Hanks was Hulk. So, here it is, the world premiere of the trailer for The Post. So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. 
You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. The New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. She can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham?